Hello everypony, I'm Jaffa Archfiend and this is a look at the um, uh, very interesting looking game known as Scarlet Blade over here in the west. Um, it's a mature MMORPG which seems to have an interesting storyline. Uh, from what I can gather there are, there's not so much two factions here. We've got the Royal Guards and the Free Knights. Um, they are actually both the good guys. They're very different philosophies. You have the Royal Guards, who are like the first generation of these Arcana, who are supposed to be like genetically engineered weapons of mankind to sl to go about defeating and slaying the people, the aliens who pretty much kicked our ass a hundred years ago. By this game's timeline, it takes place a hundred years from now. So around about now, we got our hand, our asses handed to us by some aliens. The Free Knights, however, are sort of like the second and third generations of the Arcana, who are kind of. Well, they're not exactly happy with the whole security measures that humanities have put into place to make sure the Arcana don't, well, turn on humanity. Like the whole mental control thing. So, that's what they're all about. Uh, for sake of this, this is just, this video is going to handle, like, character creation and the class introductions. So, for the sake of bad guys being bad guys, because... Come on, it's red, they're black. Red and black are generally speaking bad guy colors, so... We live in darkness, the mother... You can pretty much read it for yourself, it's right there on the screen, so... Let's go with these guys. Okay, we have the six factions. We have the Shadow Walker. Shadow Walker. This stealthy killer prowls the shadows and strikes with more devastating melee attacks than any of her sisters. I don't know if that's just my headphones, but the, de the S's definitely seem to be kind of whispered. You may notice the mechs in the background. Oh, can't rotate these guys around? Okay. You may notice the mechs in the background. That's an ability that each character gets when they reach level 17. They can turn into these mechs for a short, brief period of time. Yes, I know, you're all staring at the bouncy boobs. Boing, nee, boing, nee, boing, nee, boing. That's what I mean by this being an, a mature MMORPG. This is definitely catered towards the anime fans, adults content um so basically these are kind of like the rogue kind of class if we're using like um, uh, wow analogies we got these are kind of like the rogues so they stealth around go slashy slashy Defender. we have defenders she shatters through enemy lines with whirlwind melee skills a true survivor intent on protecting her allies so basically tank so yeah quite like that that's that is quite a badass looking mechanoid to be honest uh, you even have these little bits down here which tell you what their kind of like stats are, which is quite nice. That's actually quite a nice little addition. Uh, if we can rotate her around, which we can't do as we discovered earlier, you can see she's armed with a giant sword. The Shadow Walker's got like um, a cl twin claws, like kind of a wolverine kind of thing. This is an interesting class here. This is a genuine new type of class that is, I don't think has ever been seen before in any MMOs. Whipper. A powerful melee fighter with excellent range, this Arcana specializes in brutal AoE skills that chew through packs of foes. Basically, she is a mid-range combat. What I mean by mid-range combat is that some, uh, it's not like casters and all that who are like long range. They cast a spell and try to shoot everyone down before they get near them. No, this person handles close range and up to mid-range as well because of the whole bladed whip she carries. It's actually a... Seg segmented blade whip type thing, sort of like the Prince of Persia's Two Thrones type thing. Yeah, that weapon there that you use as the Dark Prince, that type of thing. That's what she uses, and that's also what her giant mech uses, except more of a lightsaber version. Uh, the Whipper seems to have more exposed flesh than anyone else, I think, which seems to make this a popular class to go as. Obvious reasons, of course. Uh, Mid-range for this, it's interesting. It's it's melee. It's not a ranged attack. It's more mid-melee, to be honest. And it, it's hard to explain. I'll explain it better when I'm actually doing the tutorial videos of the review videos for each of these different classes. Punisher, a ranged destroyer. She specializes in blasting away multiple enemies at once from a safe and elegant distance. It's just me or they also have different accents for each of these characters. I'm not on about, like... Obviously, the mechs are different. They're obviously very different. They do have very different looks. But I'm wondering if they've got different accents. This is definitely a ranged class. This is a ranged class. This is pretty much like a 
burst damage I think this one is. I'm not sure because there's I'm trying to remember other reviews I've seen about this game. But I don't this is more ranged AoE than let's say let's see about the Sentinel. Sentinel. Quick as lightning and deceptively non threatening by design. Most enemies won't know what hit them until it's too late. Am I the only one here thinking chibi? <laughs> this is definitely a chibi. This seems to be kind of like a burst type of damage. This seems to be a bursty type of person. Medic, the only arcana with a healer's touch. This battle angel shoulders the responsibility for the lives of her entire party. As the game says, this is only this is the only healer class in the entire game. So if you want to have a group that actually does anything in a raid or a dungeon or a PvP, this is the only class that can heal. I can see this class being the one that gets nuked down a lot in PvP. <laughs> uh, just a quick see. Is there any difference between the mechs between this faction and the previous and the other faction? So. Shadow Punisher. A ranged whipper. A powerful sentinel. Quick as medic. The only arcana with it. Nope. Doesn't seem to be a difference between the mechs. So it just really it seems to be a difference in ideology than anything else. I'm not sure, so. Eeny meeny miny mo, catch a dick, bite the toe, if it squeals, let it go, eeny meeny miny mo. Let's go with this. Let's see about the Royal Guard now for the um, customization. Sure shits and giggles, let's go with the Let's go with Whipper, Whipper because a powerful yeah. melee fighter with excellent range. Yeah, yeah. That does that every single time you choose a different class. It does that whole thing every single time. It can't. How do we rotate? Right click and drag. Ah, okay. That's what I was doing when I was left clicking. So. Yeah, that's the Whipper. Yeah, those are genuinely her shoulder pads. That are the hovering balls next to her. So. Do they all wear heels? Anyway. Got the pre-built stuff, which is like here. Face, makeup, hair, blah blah blah. Seems to be all pre-built. You can't change the outfit. Uh, you can actually hold on. Uh, show costumes A, show costume B. Good. There doesn't seem that much difference. It just seems to be how much tits you expose, really. Lingerie. Yeah, this is gonna be something you a lot of you are gonna be spending a lot of time on, isn't it? Let's be honest here. Let's be brutally honest here. Zoom in. You can even zoom in on this. Oh god. <laughs> Reflectives. There's actually apparently a pickup you can get later on in the game that will completely expose them into a nudie version of themselves. For some reason, that's something that's annoying here because you got you've got the hair color. That's actually a lot of colors there. That is a lot of different shades. So let's just go with that. Let's go. With, yeah, that's pretty much what it started off with. The anyway, hairstyles. No, but from something like this, you'd expect something like I don't know, boob or ass size. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything like that. It just seems to be just like hair, hair color. Sure, you can adjust stuff like lips. Hold on. No, we can't zoom in any further. Okay. Damn it! Why is it right click? It's not. Why is it not left click? I don't know. It's probably just an Asian thing. Uh, so you can choose a like lipstick color. That's about it, really. Um, eyes. You can change her eye color. Face. You can change her face around. She's got this kind of like visor thing. You can go with that type of look. Bleep makeup type thing. You can't actually add anything of your own type thing. There's all these pre-made things, which in a sense I kind of like. I kind of like something that's pre-made in terms of that so it doesn't completely throw you off because you could, with like um, uh, in Mass Effect and all that kind of stuff. I'm using that as an example. That's the first thing that springs to mind when it comes to like um, uh, editing the facials. You could wind it with something that looks completely not human. So, yes, I know the Arcana aren't strictly human in lore. They're genetically altered and created kind of machine women type thing. The name and all that. Um, but there doesn't seem to really be anything you can Sentinel. do, Weak really. Is lightning and deceptively Good. Shut by up! Design. Seriously, is that going to happen every single time? So, yeah, you got this type of thing here. 
That's not why I did that. I did it to do this. Oh no, it doesn't rotate on here either, no matter if you right click or not. That's pointless. Anyway. Shadow Walker. This stealthy killer proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. I do wish that voice would shut up when after you've already s seen this gone through the stuff. I do wish it would just shush. So you've got this stuff. I do like that they all actually do actually have different hairstyles about the thing. That's actually quite not bad. They actually do all have different hairstyles. They all do have like the different faces vaguely. Which is interesting. They do have the different stuff going for them. It's not all just the exact same thing across the classes. Uh, we've got the different outfits. Although strictly it just seems to be like a different coloration type thing to be honest. Anyway. Lingerie. That actually shows a lot more than the last one did. That actually shows a lot. Jesus. Please note I will be putting this as a not safe for work thing on the front of this video. So you can't you have been warned. This is tagged as a mature MMORPG. And I'm not kidding. This is the only stuff you can make. Doesn't matter. You've Shadow Walker. Oh, wrong Anisha, class. A ranged destroyer. This is generally all you get. This is generally all you can only play as women, genuinely speaking. Alright, I think we've played around enough. This is just showing off what all the different type of stuff for each of the characters can do. Uh, I'll go into some more detail with them later. So, that's pretty much it, really. It's just... That looks like a swimsuit. That's not bad. That's a nice wee look, that, actually. That's sort of... Not sure what's going on there. Uh, you can actually get s different Sentinel. types of them. Um, uh, anyway. Just wondering what they came up with this, because if that's that, what exactly... Considering the look of this character, what have they gone with? Something tasteful, I hope. Okay. Or not. Good god, how do you walk in those? I must generally ask, how do you walk in those? Okay, given the chibi nature of this character, that's actually kind of tasteful. Given the chibi nature of this character, that is actually tasteful. I must say, that's actually kind of... That's actually decently tasteful. You're probably wondering, again, it's like... The, re the, the reason they've given for the whole um, uh, very little armor. For like, uh, the whipper class and the exposed flesh on the others. The reason they've given this is because of the whole... They've been genetically Medic, the only arcana with a Because of the whole genetics thing. They, their skin is pretty much apparently like um, a steel very tight like steel titanium and all that kind of stuff so I do like the look of the medic actually it's that kind of angel type healer type thing for that outfit that's I'm guessing kind of a nurse futuristic type thing I'm thinking there lingerie But yeah, from what I can see, this is an interesting looking game. It's unique enough in that respect that it has... It has... The Whipper, as I said, is a unique class. I've never actually seen that anywhere else across the board Sentinel. for anyone else. Quick as lightning and deceptive... Medic, the only a Punisher. A ranged I do wish walker. that would shut this up, though. stealthy killer prowls the... Sh Defender. She shatters through enemy lines. As... Nice it is to actually hear them do a voice acting thing for what each class actually does. Because I know some people just tend to just blitz through it to not care what's actually written. It does seem to be a little annoying. Seriously, that is just, that can get easily annoying from what I can see. So, shirts and giggles, what do we have here? The Sentinel definitely seems to be very ponytail-esque in her hairstyle. I can zoom in a little bit. There doesn't seem to be any mid-zoom range. It's either very close up or very far away. Which, I can suppose is alright, but... But, yeah. It looks good. This, it looks good to me. Um, I got asked to mention that some kind of relevance to Witchblade. I got asked by someone on a forum who I, who I frequent to make a comparison to Witchblade. Not entirely sure why, because 
I haven't actually watched the Witchblade stuff. From what I've actually seen, though, on AMVs, I can kind of guess where she's coming with it because of the whole living weapons type thing. At least I'm ass that's what I'm assuming about Witchblade. I've only seen it from, like, AMVs and videos and clips like that. I haven't actually seen a full episode. Yeah, go shoot me. Um, I'm thinking the Sentinel is about... I'm this isn't the Sentinel, this is the, um, uh, what fucking class is this? Uh, it's the tanky class. Oh, we see her without the sword. That's interesting to see what it looks like without the sword there. Uh, anyway. But yeah, that's the thing. We've got the two factions, the Royal Guards and the, um, uh, Royal Guards and the Free Knights. We've got the six different classes. We've got the tank. We've got two different types of ranged DPS. We've got two types of melee DPS. And we've got the healer class. So, that's interesting to me. Because, norm yeah, strictly speaking, in MMOs, you've got, like, the clerics and all that. You've got the priests. You've got the shamans. You've got the, he you've got the druids. You've got the um, uh, blood mages. You've got the chaos focuses um you got the fist weapons i'm using examples from like wow from like secret world uh from tor but yeah having just the one class that do that does healing though i don't know i'm not i don't know if the other classes have got a self-healing capability or not because if, it, if that's not the case, if all the classes are kind of relying on this one class to do the healing for you, how many people, generally speaking here, how many people actually go with the healer class? Because, strictly for healing, because, yeah, the healer class will have its own DPS capability from what I've read. It'll do like uh, dots and all that kind of stuff, like warlocks do on like a uh, WoW, but... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Um, how many people genuinely go as a healer class to genuinely go heal raids and stuff? Personally speaking, I will heal dungeons on my monk if I need to. On WoW or flashpoints like the four-man stuff on my sorcerer on Tor if I have to. If I find myself desperate enough, I will actually even heal on Secret World with my uh, guy who has like one healing ability on his roster. If the situation proves desperate enough, I will heal on my guy on that. But I wouldn't strictly go healing specifically to heal. How many? I don't know how many other people actually do that. Um, because quite frankly, people want to go around killing stuff in an MMO. That's why they go about doing it. If your class happens to have a healing thing and they need a healer, then you can just swap to that healing stuff. I don't know if the other classes here actually have. A self healing ability that seems to me to be a little uh again this has been transferred over to the west from the asian server so i don't know if it's a different philosophy over there or not considering how mmos work or not how the community sees mmos so i know from personal experience over here that um people tend to value more actually killing others than anything else. You get the healers who will actually generally be, they'll go as healers simply for the fact that they need to actually have healers in a group. They will go through it as a healer so they can actually get the points, get the stuff, but only because that's the only reason why they're going as a healer because, well, they kind of need a healer. So, again, I don't know. I'll need to see about that, but what do you guys think? How many of you actually go as a healer to heal? Anyway, enough about that. From what I can see so far, this is an interesting looking game. And I will go into each class specifically in the next bunch of videos and then have a final video with my verdict. I'm Jeff Archfiend. Let's play some titties! What? Come on, why else would you play this game? See ya.